Hey, it's Brian. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the big dog. And one of my favorite, favorite, favorite all-time drills is if you can't do it slow, you can't do it fast. We have people that are practicing, and they're practicing hard, um, but they're practicing way too fast. So we want our practice to be super micro-focused, super hard, and a short time period. So one of my favorite drills is to do uh, a tap drill. So it's kind of an oldie but a goodie. Um, and it's really hard to invent new drills. So most of you have probably seen this before out on the internet somewhere. But uh, basically what we do is, is we try to go through every move in our golf swing at a very slow pace. Now most people think that slow is this. <laughs> you know, like 30% of your speed. Slow is that you actually want to feel every single twitch, every single move that your body makes. So my mentor taught me when we did a uh, tap drill that when you start to work with a club and you're doing a tap drill, it doesn't matter if the swing takes you 10 minutes and you hit one ball in a 10 minute period. What matters is, is that you get the club in the proper place and that you're making proper impact so that your body can uh, materialize that and remember it so that you can do it when you get faster. So I want you to slow down relax, get into the proper positions, and even when you go to the range, you may only need to buy a small bucket or get five balls, and you're gonna benefit a lot more than you beating 100 balls um, as fast as you can. So with our driver, we wanna get in good position, good posture at the beginning, and literally this is how fast I would want you to swing. So we're gonna start to move the club up and start to blend our shoulders in. I mean, you can listen to music um, or you can think about some things. We want to check the end of our takeaway, which is good. We want to get up to the top of our golf swing, which is good. We want to relocate the golf ball, start to move down, check out where the handle of the club is moving, bring it back in, square the face, tap the shot, and then finish. For me, when I'm struggling with my game, I go right back to that foundational type of drill. So if you can't do it slow, there's no way possible you're gonna do it fast. So slow down, relax, take it easy, get your practice into micro-focused areas that are short and intense, and I know that you're gonna get better. If you have any questions, just chat me up.